All right, we're back, and uh, sorry about my appearance, but this is going to be reviewing the Blackstone Lab report that I sent out for the Shell 5W30 multi-vehicle. They tested it in New York City taxi cabs. Supposedly, it's really good stuff. It's always great from the manufacturer. No, I'm kidding. But um, this is reviewing. I put 4,900 miles on the Shell multi-vehicle. They erroneously coded my engine. I'm going to email them and see if that's a big deal. Um, I hope that it doesn't skew any of this data. I do have a 17 WRX STI and it says Mitchell don't worry your sampling technique is fine sometimes we find a harmless bit of fuel dilution in cold samples but that's not the case here um, I like to take the oil as, as hot as possible but that just wasn't the case when I put the car up on ramps uh, I got distracted and I had to go back 40 minutes later uh, but like they said that's not the case you asked how this oil held up well in use and we'd say it held up well exclamation point where metals in the sample are nice and low next to universal averages which is a good find considering our averages are based on a fairly similar 4400 mile use interval now I switched mine out at 4900 just by chance I didn't know they used 4400 otherwise it would have been a little bit closer to their number to make the data as, as uh, similar as possible the viscosity was slightly thick but that's harmless a TBN of 4.2 shows active additive left when oil was changed they're recommending trying to run up to 7,000 miles on the current fill nice report um, just the notorious properties of the EJ with these engines, I don't think I'm ever going to go past 5,006 would be really pushing it if I didn't have time. Um, I usually like to do three or four. This is just for experimental purposes. Now we're going to go over this. Aluminum, I had three. They had three. Chromium, I had one. They had zero. Iron, I had seven. They had 14. Copper, I had three. They had 15. Lead and tin, zero, zero for both. Malbendum 11, 108 on theirs, nickel 0, 0, magnanese 0, 1 for their universal average over here, silver I got a 0, they have a 0, titanium 1, 1, potassium 2, 2, boron 74, they got a 74 average, silicone I have 6, they have 30, sodium I have 9, they have a 20, calcium I have 1095, they have 1961, magnesium I have 630, they have 127, phosphorus 718, they have 724, zinc 802, they have 844, barium 00, zero. viscosity 65.7, it's a little thicker, uh, viscosity at 100 celsius, 11.79 over the 11.3 high threshold, flash 0.410 over the 365, fuel is less than 0.5%, zero antifreeze in the oil, zero water, uh, 0.1 insolubles, TBN of a 4.2. And that concludes the review here of the Blackstone Report. Uh, I guess any questions, concerns, like I said, I drive this car in New York City, stop and go traffic every day in my commute. Um, you know, I take very good care of it. And this is just a good benchmark here. Now, I am running currently the Redline 5W30, which is a great oil. And we're going to do a, a same comparison of the Blackstone Labs. I'm going to send it out and see how it differs, how this engine's wearing. This isn't to say one is better than the other, but it's just a fair assessment of oils for people that like that. I mean, there's so many forms on and threads, rather, of this oil's good, this one's bad. And what I could tell you, though, this multi, this multi-vehicle did not shear at all. I didn't have to add anything, which I'm very pleased with. Um, the red line so far over a thousand miles I didn't have to add a drop either and I'm gonna keep driving the same way I've been driving and test it just to see all right so stay tuned guys thanks for tuning in subscribe and uh, hit that like button thanks bye guys